netherworld, darker than a pitch-black cave, deeper than the depths of the seas, a land where ominous demons run rampant. In the past, this world was ruled by an overlord with unrivaled charisma named Krichevskoy. After this great overlord passed away, many demons rose to become the next overlord, plunging the netherworld into an age of chaos. It was then that one demon announced his claim to become the next overlord. That demon was Laharl, the only son of Overlord Krichevskoy. He crushed every demon that stood in his way and forced himself upon the title of Overlord. He was helped by angel trainee Flan, and after many twists and turns, the Netherworld and Celestia started interacting. However, because she had harmed other angels, angel trainee Flan became a fallen angel and moved into the Overlord's castle with Laharl. A few years later, kill you, I would have killed you a long time ago. You are, as always, a terrible vassal. Anyway, Prince, most demons can destroy the stars, you know. You can destroy as many stars as you want, but no one will accept you as the Overlord just for that. What? Are you saying that all my hard work has been a complete waste of time? Yep, absolutely. Why did you tell me that earlier? It's a vassal's job to keep an eye out for stuff like that. What's wrong, Flan? You're shaking. If you gotta pee, you really shouldn't try and hold it, you know. No, that's not it! Thanks to you two, my garden is completely ruined! Please apologize to the celestial flowers that were trying to 
Celestial flowers? You planted these things right under my nose? Yes, I received some UEA seeds. Although subtle, they bloom into very pretty white flowers. Um, Flan, flowers from Celestia don't bloom in the netherworld, you know. What? Good for you. I saved you from wasting your time. You should thank me for that. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Don't be stupid. You never asked. Well, yeah, but... Not to mention, I'm busy. I don't have time for flowers. That's right. You need to hurry up and get people to treat you like an overlord. Huh. Just you watch. I'll show every demon that I am a much superior overlord than my old man was. Wait for me! I want to come too! <laughs> Episode 1. The Qualities of an Overlord. demons who don't even know that I became the Overlord. So, I've decided to have monuments celebrating my ascension to Overlord set up all over the netherworld. Etna! I know, I know. I ordered all my vassals to get to work on that non-stop without food or sleep. Pretty squad, get your asses over here. Is this good, dude? Wow, that is pretty good for you guys. It's our masterpiece, dude! Hey, what is this? What? You're the one who told me to make Laharl statues. Look at the antennae! They look exactly like yours, right? Focus on the face! This is amazing! It looks exactly like Laharl, especially the antennae. Can we not focus on the antennae so much? It looks enough like you. Don't be so picky, Prince. Hmm. I don't really like it, but I guess it'll do. Now, go erect these Laharl statues!
one more Lahal statue here. Huh? Some demons appeared. Looks like they're the locals. And it looks like they don't want you to put up your statue. What do you want us to do, Prince? Do you really need to ask? I don't care who they are. Destroy anyone who gets in my way. Well said, Prince. There wasn't even an ounce of pity. Wait! I'm sure we can just talk to them. Good idea. I know sign language, so I think I'll let my fist do all the talking. I see. That was kind of clever. But, but that's not what I meant. It's pretty courageous of them to go up against the Overlord. I shall crush them all and engrave my name into their bodies and fear of the Overlord into their souls!
wanna die, dude? 